marketing of mutual fund products, insurance products, and fee-based products by banks. So firstly, we will understand the meaning of mutual funds. A mutual fund is a professionally managed type of collective investment scheme that pools money from many investors and invests typically in investment securities like stocks, bonds, short-term money market instruments, other mutual funds, other securities, etc. The mutual fund will have a fund manager that trades, that is buys and sells the fund's investments in accordance with the fund's investment objective. There are various types of mutual funds like open-ended, close-ended, debt equity, etc. having their own objective and investment opportunities. As per the seven P's, one among them is product. Segmentation of the mutual fund market can be done based on the investment objective of the investor. If one investor wants his investment to provide him with regular fixed returns and another wants his investment to grow and provide high returns in the medium to long term, so they can form representatives of two segments. The investment objectives of these two investors are different and therefore the same fund cannot cater to the needs of both. The business has to produce a product that people want to buy. They have to decide which market segment they are aiming at, age, income, geographical location, etc. Another among them is price. To understand the pricing of mutual funds, let us first understand the concept of NAV, net asset value. The net asset value of the fund is the cumulative market value of the assets fund net of its liabilities. In other words, if the fund is dissolved or liquidated by selling off all the assets in the fund, this is the amount that the shareholders would collectively own. They give rise to the concept of the net asset value per unit, which is the value expressed by the ownership of one unit in the fund. It is calculated simply by dividing the net asset value of the fund by the number of units. Now the turn comes for promotion. With more and more private and global players entering the mutual market, the market has become quite competitive in the recent past. Mutual funds as an investment option are now competing with commercial banks and other financial institutions for the investors' savings. They need to adopt innovative promotional strategies like strategic tie-ups. UTI Mutual Fund has tied up with the world's top institutional asset manager, State Street Global Advisors Reliance uses electronic media, print media and holdings for promotion. With regard to people, sophisticated technologies no doubt inject life and strength to a bank's efficiency, but the moment there is a lack of productive human resources, even the new generation of information technologies would hardly produce the desired results. If the fund manager has a free hand to decide the fate of savings of thousands of unit holders, he needs to be very competent and judicious in his decision making. If we talk about Reliance AMC, it has not a big staff. The reason behind that is the expenses made on these people is adjusted from the return which they earn from the investment of their customer. In Reliance AMC, there is one relationship manager, two office coordinator executives, one coordinator Kavi, one sales manager and one assistant sales manager and one coordinator. Next is the place. It includes the decision regarding location of business point for the customer. To get easy access and success in competitive world, they need to diversify our locations as per the opportunity. Process for investment in mutual funds should be simple so that customers find it easy and short. The process of investment by one mutual fund company can be quite different from that of another. They are being regulated by company itself. The last one is physical evidence. 
Providing physical evidence to the customer is one of the most difficult aspects of the mutual fund business. As there are very few instances of the customer entering the company premises, buildings and infrastructure can rarely be used as physical evidence. Therefore, companies use their channels of distribution like banks and post offices to attach an element of credibility to their services. They also try to use their service personnel to reduce the perceived risk of customers. One of the most important ways is to promote the earlier successes of the company in a big After studying this lesson, we should be able to discuss the marketing strategy for mutual fund products, evaluate the insurance marketing strategies, outline the marketing strategy for fee-based services. Now let's discuss marketing mix for insurance products. Various types of insurance products are term life insurance, which is designed to provide you with protection for a specified period of time, typically 1, 5, 10 or 20 years. Another one is whole life insurance. Unlike term insurance, whole life offers coverage for your entire life and it accumulates cash value which is accessible in the form of loans or withdrawals. So whole life can represent a future source of money as well as protection. The premiums are guaranteed to remain the same throughout your lifetime. Next one is variable annuities. Variable annuities are insurance contracts designed to supplement a retirement program serving as long-term saving vehicles and as efficient sources of retirement income. When purchasing a variable annuity, your money is invested in separate accounts of the insurer made up of equity and or fixed income funds. There are also fixed indexed annuities which offers interest linked to a stock market index, generally the S&P 500 index. When the index increases, a portion of those gains are credited. When the index decreases, no interest is credited, but your account value does not decrease. Long-term care is the assistance or supervision that a person with a physical or mental disorder may require over an extended period of time. Injury, illness and normal aging process can all trigger the need for long-term care. These all type of products require different amount of investment and different type of customers. Thus the marketing mix will have to vary in such case. Marketing mix for them includes First one is product. When a person or an organization buys an insurance policy from the insurance company, he not only buys a policy but along with it the assistance and advice of the agent the prestige of the insurance company and the facilities of claims and compensation. It is natural that the users expect a reasonable return for their investment and the insurance companies want to maximize their profitability. Hence, while deciding the product portfolio or the product mix, the services or the schemes should be motivational. In the insurance business, the pricing decisions are concerned with the premium charged against the policies, interest charged for defaulting the payment of premium and credit facility, and commission charged for underwriting and consultancy activities. The strategies may be high or low pricing, keeping in view the level or standard of customers or the policyholders. The pricing in insurance is in the form of premium rates. The three main factors used for determining the premium rates under a life insurance plan are mortality, expense and interest. The premium rates should be revised if there are any significant changes in any of these factors. Another one is people. The transformation of potential policyholders to the actual policyholders is a difficult task that depends upon the professional excellence of the personnel. The agents and the rural carrier agents acting as a link, lack of professionalism. Thus, each employee from bottom to top must be cooperative and skillful. It is also essential that they have rural orientation 
and are well aware of the lifestyles of the prospects or users. In addition to the agents, the frontline staff also needs an intensive training program to focus mainly on behavioral management. Next is the place, that is location of office of insurance company where the potential customer can visit. The place should be comfortable and within the customer access. Today there are a number of branches in the same city of same company in order to give easy access to customers. Another one is promotion, which should be both personal and impersonal. In a country like India, the rate of illiteracy is very high and the rural economy has dominance in the national economy. It is essential to have both personal and impersonal promotion strategies. Advertising and publicity, organization of conferences and seminars, incentive to policyholders are impersonal communication. Arranging exhibitions, participation in fairs and festivals, rural wall paintings and publicity drive through the mobile publicity van units would be effective in creating the impulse buying and rural prospects would be easily transformed into actual policy holders. The process should be customer friendly in insurance industry. The speed and accuracy of payments is of great importance. The processing method should be easy and convenient to the customers. Installment schemes should be streamlined to cater to the ever-growing needs and demands of the customers. IT and data warehousing will smoothen the process flow. IT will help in servicing large number of customers efficiently and bring down overheads. Distribution is a key determinant of success for all insurance companies. Today, the nationalized insurers have a large reach and presence in India. Building a distribution network is very expensive and time consuming. If the insurers are willing to take advantage of India's large population and reach a profitable mass of customers, then new distribution avenues and alliances will be necessary. Now let's discuss marketing for fee-based banking services. Fee-based services can be broadly classified into corporate and retail fee-based services. Organizations avail of such services for meeting both their short-term and long-term financial requirements. The common fee-based services offered to corporate clients are cash management services, letter of credit, bank guarantees, bill discounting, factoring or forfeiting, forex services, merchant banking, registrar services, underwriting services, custodial services, lease and hire purchase, and credit rating. Retail fee-based services are availed of at large by the retail customers for payments, money transfers, personal wealth management, online trading, etc. In banking industry, the marketing mix can be as follows. The products offered by a bank may be in the core or augmented form. The core products offered by a bank include a savings bank account or a housing loan. The augmented product includes services like internet banking, ATMs, 24-hour customer service, etc. These augmented services help the banker differentiate his service offering from those of his competitors. Pricing must be competitive and must entail profit. The pricing strategy can comprise discounts, offers and the like. The banks have opened various branches at different places to act with place mix. Promotion should be done by banks by continuously advertising and communicating about the services to people. Today, most of the banks use TV, radio and telecalling as their way to advertise their services. Recruiting the right staff and training them appropriately in the delivery of their service is essential if the organization wants to obtain a form of competitive advantage. The active involvement of people is necessary for rendering fee-based services as the people factor decides the quality of service delivery. Many of the service providers recruit candidates from reputed colleges and institutions and train them to handle the customer requirements. 
The process factor in service delivery can be analyzed in terms of the flow of activities, the number of steps involved in each activity, and the customer involvement. Providers of fee-based services take all these factors into account for achieving high levels of service quality. Thus, in this manner, the fee-based services can be made much better to increase the profits for banks. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. A mutual fund is a professionally managed type of collective investment scheme that pools money from many investors and invests typically in investment securities. Right or wrong? Right. The net asset value of the fund is the cumulative market value of the assets fund net of its liabilities. Right or wrong? Right. Term life insurance is for term of 10 years. Right or wrong? Wrong. Let's revise. A mutual fund pools savings from investors and invests them in diversified securities in the capital market in order to balance returns and safety for the investor and optimize benefits. Segmentation of the mutual fund market can be done based on the investment objective of the investor. Marketeers design their strategies after identifying the market segment they would like to target. Based on their strategy, they determine the marketing mix elements and adapt them to suit the market needs. Fee-based services can be broadly classified into corporate and retail fee-based services. Organizations avail of such services for meeting both their short-term and long-term financial requirements. Marketers must press the required hot buttons to attract consumers. 